Welcome back to The Lot. Movie critic Gray Drake is here with a movie already generating Oscar buzz. Gray, thank you for joining us. Oh, I'm so excited to be here to share with you about Rustin. So this is over on Netflix, and it's about the great civil rights leader Bayard Rustin, who no one knows anything about. He organized the Great March on Washington in 1963, and I think that there are a lot of parallels between he and the actor that actually plays him, Coleman Domingo. On August 28th, black, white, young, old, rich, working class, poor, will descend on Washington, D.C., and there's nothing he can do to stop it. I feel ashamed that I didn't know his name. You know what? I think there's, there's no shame to it because I think that that's just what history does. You know, history shines a light on some and, and puts others in the shadows before whatever narrative that is necessary. You know, it, it's always interesting to me that there's, a, there's always just more, all the light on Dr. King. But what about all these other people who helped, who were part of the movement? There could be no Dr. King if there wasn't all these other people, these men, these women, black and white, that, that are unnamed. You know, these are ordinary people who did extraordinary things. And now Byron Rustin gets his chance to shine in the light, and you get to know more about him now. On the day that I was born black, I was also born a homosexual. One of the quotes that really stuck with me from this movie about Bayard Rustin is that when he's unable to sort of act and do what he's best at, he's like a shark swimming in a shot glass. Yeah. I almost felt like that might describe you at some point in your career. Do you feel like a kinship with that statement? Well, Gray, <laughs> you hit hard today, didn't you? <laughs> you came with the one, too. Yeah. Listen, we don't even warm up in here. We just beep, beep. I would say yes at times. At times, I felt that way as well. I think there, I had an agent a thousand years ago tell me, she said, you're gonna have an interesting journey in this industry because you're a character actor in a leading man's body and it's gonna take the, it's gonna take the industry a long time to catch up with exactly how to see you, but it's important that you see yourself first. Mm. And that's what I've always done. So I've always seen myself a certain way and there are times that you, you're sort of like, you know, oh, you're, what's offered you is something that's probably something that just touches on some of your talent or your gifts in some way or helps move the story along. And I've always been, you know, I'm never afraid of an ensemble. I'm never afraid of supporting anyone. Um, I don't have an ego in that way. Uh, but the idea of operating and the, being the central character and moving through space and operating and leading and guiding a set is another set of skills that I think that my years in preparation by being that, that shark trapped in a shot glass has prepared me for. And now the shark is in open waters now. I need a sound system which will allow someone speaking here to be heard all the way back there because sound is how you turn a crowd into an audience. I didn't find out about Byron Rustin until I was in my junior year of college uh, when it, he was sort of a, a footnote in the conversation. And I was like, well, wait a minute, wait, who's that? And then I had to interrogate more. That's what we have to do with history. And I think it's our responsibility because if we leave it to the gatekeepers of history, you know, history wants to, you know, <laughs> be held by certain people to control. But you, we all have to interrogate history and don't let anyone tell you that we can't. It's our own power. Do this, Dr. King. Own your power. So incredible. You think of Dr. King giving that iconic I Have a Dream speech at the March on Washington, which led to the iconic Civil Rights Act of 1964. Bayard Rustin changed history. Right, exactly. And I just can't believe that I didn't know anything about him. And this movie is so exceptional. It's such a great way to learn about this person that I call it edutainment. <laughs> yes, because he's fun, he's lovable. He was ahead of his time. Yeah. He was struggling on multiple fronts from racism to bigotry, but also um, seeing Coleman Domingo, somebody we didn't know before. Right, I mean, I've been watching Coleman Domingo what, for what feels like forever and now people are just only learning his name and I can't think of a better vehicle for him to become well known for the other good news for us though is that he's also starring in the color purple this season I've seen it and he is equally as incredible he's I just a revelation as a person and it was so, so great to talk to him it's like an overnight star that took decades to happen <laughs>
classic Hollywood. Yes, thank you, Grace, so much. Mm -hmm. Now, a new Netflix comedy film just made history as their biggest animated hit. We talked to Adam Sandler and a special guest from Issa Rae's hit comedy when we come back.